That's, I think, one of the reasons that your show has been so successful is it's a, it's a combination of authenticity with you can have you're totally willing to have conversations with no holds barred, right? You can't have that in the academy. Mm-mm. So people need to go to you to hear these thoughts and to wrestle with ideas and to engage. It's just... It, it's well, you, a, can, you can't it, it, really do it anywhere else other than a podcast. Well, you because, can't do it in the academy. But you can't even do it on the Today Show. They fired Megyn Kelly right, for right. What, asking why is blackface racist, right. which is a stupid fucking question, no <laughs> doubt. She's not a bright woman in, in that regard socially, right? It's, so, it's a uh, very clumsy, clunky thing to say. Clunky. But they just fire her. They fire her. Yep. They should have, what they should have done was brought in black scholars and black intellectuals exactly. for a week just to exactly. fucking grill her. Exactly. And that would have been amazing television. But yeah, that yeah. attitude that you have is not what they have. So right. they well, want to punish panic. the transgressor, right? Do they, they, well, they, well, I they, think they just want to stop hemorrhaging. And I think they didn't like her anyway. I mean, well, the, that's the, word, true. the word is they really didn't enjoy her and that she wasn't a nice person and she was a... A mean but it was a learning set. moment, right? It was a teaching moment that's lost now. Yes, yes, yes. But, yes. but it's think, lost. But think about it in terms of what we were talking about earlier, where the the scholarship's stretching back again to the '60s. You have this idea that all of society is constructed out of power dynamics that are mediated through language, media, imagery, and so she just now became problematic, mm. and she put out <laughs> ideas that would be dangerous and poisonous. Not yeah. something to discuss the merits or dismerits of, not something to work through, not something as a teachable moment. She put out an idea that's dangerous. She can't put out ideas anymore. Well, you know, it was really interesting, too. She tried. She was so disingenuous in how she approached it. It's so obvious. You know, what a, a black person is it? Why is it wrong for a black person to dress as a white person? Mm. It's not. No mm. one ever said that. Why are you pretending? You're just setting it up so that you can say a white person wearing black ma- blackface. Right. Yeah. Th- well, think, about the, think about the other cultural moment there, too. So, like you said, they bring in black scholars. And at the end of that, she said, you know, I really listened to that. And yeah. I didn't know that. And I was wrong. And I'm changing my mind. There was like, this woman on Twitter that said her video looked I, I retweeted it, that it looked like a hostage video. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> The yeah. only thing that was missing was her holding up a newspaper that showed the date. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah this Australian woman. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> the yeah. whole thing is so fucking funny. But that is one of the worst ways to, to really dissect ideas. Because first of all, there's a studio audience. That that fucks everything up. Right. Second of all, you have these massive time constraints. Mm-hmm. And then you have advertisers. Then you have a bunch of executives that are all cowards. They're all just ready to pull the trigger on anything. Yeah, yeah, Anytime yeah. they can blame you for anything that went wrong and get rid of you or fire you, fire Fire him. Get rid of him. Get yeah. rid of him. Bring in the next person, you know, mm. and then they'll, what they'll most likely do is to to show they've learned they'll hire an all black crew, for, right? For the, a diverse crew, yes. That's right. That's all they're going to do. Yeah, yeah. Yep. As a matter of fact, I think I read. Isn't aren't they doing that? See, see if they do that. They're replacing Megyn Kelly with a, a crew of of color. <laughs> it's just, Think about where that works, right? It works. You said they're cowards. They're afraid they're going to, you know, damage their brand or whatever it is. Yeah. Where does that work? Or who works on that? Bullies, right? So these people, why are they so pervasive in the academy? Why are they so so pervasive in media? They know they can bully these people. They know that they can go lean on this stuff and somebody's going to be cowardly and then they're going to be able to, you know, make something change in the direction they want it to change. Right. You see it even creeping into politics. They, they try to do it with policymakers. You see it a lot more in, in a lot of other countries. Right now, we're in this massive like backlash against it in American yeah. politics. How's that going? You know, did, did, did 2016 help your progressive agenda, gang? <laughs> Holy mm. crap. Well, that is a part of the problem with the what – what are they saying? Yes. So, yeah, look at this. Today, as you know, we're starting a new chapter in the third hour of our show as it evolves. It's evolving. It's a fucking living being. We want you to know the entire Today family will continue to bring you informative and important stories, just as we always have. And look, two black guys and a brown chick. <laughs> That's 100% we, diverse. We got rid of the it's ice a, princess. It's all diverse. That's the thing. Yeah. The way that diversity is d- uh, defined, if you had a panel that was just black guys, it would be 100% diverse. Yeah, so they've redefined the word diversity. They've yeah. redefined the word inclusion. 